Welcome everyone, uh, David from uh, Become Digital Today. I just want to go over how you can use bots for your business. So this will be an ongoing series because obviously we can't cover everything in one video. Now, um, one of the bot builders I use is called Bot My Work. I have used several in the past, but this one I find the customer support is excellent. So um, to get started, you're going to hit create your free chat bot for Messenger. Um, this will usually prompt you. I, I'm already logged in, but it will prompt you to log in with your, your Facebook and then connect the different pages you have. So once you do that, you'll be brought to your dashboard. Um, so you can see here I have two, two made. Uh, to make a new one, you just hit, of course, create new bot. Now uh, you can see how many subscribers your bot has, how much interaction. Um, and then here's one that I just made. This is what we're going to use. So... Um, you can rename it here to anything you like. Let's just call it Learning Bot. I've already brought it up here for the sake of uh, load speeds as my internet's running a little slow. So um, what, what I want to go over today is the different functions of a bot and uh, what, what you can actually do. So there's a lot of things that you can, can do with a chat bot from lead generation to connecting to your e-commerce store, to uh, answering frequently asked questions, customer support, human Passover. Uh, it, the, the possibilities are really endless. So let's just go over here. Uh, stories, these are where you input your blocks. And uh, your blocks are what basically are your connectors for your bot. So each bot, you can have multiple functions. So Here's, here's, for example, the things that we can add into our bots. Um, text blocks, uh, quick replies, and we'll go over all these in depth. So get input, get email, get phone, um, webhooks. So if you're experienced with things like Zapier, this is uh, you know for, for your more advanced bot makers. Typing, reject to image, and gallery take over chat and send email now let me just go through each of these functions so text uh, this would be like your normal response that you would write to someone like hi I'm David right so this is what would come up on the screen now uh, in normal conversation usually people don't reply right away so maybe you'd want to put in something like uh, a wait time here so you could say, you know, wait four seconds, and then you can send another text. Now, uh, you could say something like, how can I help you? Okay. Uh, now let's talk about quick replies. So quick replies are like your, your buttons that would come up um, that people can click. So you can say, like, uh, I need help. And then if you you would need to make a block first. So for now, let's just click one. And then let's add another click reply here. Oops, sorry. Wrong button. So then you can add another one. Uh, customer support, etc. So these, these are just examples. Uh, now, all of these need to be connected to a block. And we'll go over blocks later in order for them to function correctly, okay? So um, let's go over get input, or, or more so before we do that, let's let's get email. So get email, this basically uh, pulls the email that's on their Facebook and offers it to them as uh, a question saying, hey, is this your email, can, can we use this? So uh, what bots do is they give, they give basically a property to the different or, or we call them here attributes to the answers that people supply so this validation is uh, email so we would save this as email now this will later be used to uh, send a notification to whoever is receiving answers from the bot so this would be you know come in the form of email or through a webhook uh, that would go to a spreadsheet, uh, to your CRM that's connected through webhooks. So uh, 
Same thing with Get Phone. It does the same thing. It allows them to click a button that has their pre-filled information or they can type it in. Now let's talk about Get Input. This um, is like basically a form within the bot. So uh, you can ask questions. Uh, how is your day? So save as day. No validation needed. So now when we do send the same thing, um, how we attribute the attribute to email here, we attribute the attribute to day so that this answer that they reply back with will be sent to the, the person receiving the answer. So now we won't go into webhooks because that's pretty uh, technical, probably good for a later time. So we already seen typing. Now redirect to this is um, say you every every block you build it needs to, you need to think in terms of returning to the flow. Uh, you never want to leave someone hanging. So say you you answer and it's it's definitive. It's the you've closed the the, the conversation. Redirect to is great for sending them back to where you want them to go. So main menu, maybe a previous block. Uh, uh, anything like that so now image pretty self-exclamatory uh, this would would be if you were going to add uh, an image into your conversation so um, you'll also get these these notifications these will tell you you know that something's messed up so obviously because the redirect is uh, before the image, it's going to mess it up. So we would need to move it before. Um, so, okay, now let's talk about gallery. Gallery is a nice way to show different options. So, like for instance, we had the the quick answers, which are just buttons. Now, gallery takes that a, a bit further, where you can add an image, you can add a title with a simple uh, subtitle, and you can even send them to uh, a website and add additional buttons so and the users will be able to scroll through these different options and it just it looks much cleaner for uh, interactions uh, on your bot you can add your own custom imagery that makes it really stand out now take over chat um, say say you have a customer service bot and uh, the user has exhausted all the frequently asked questions and is lost. You can put an option in where they would hit uh, talk to a live person. What this does is this hands it off to uh, your Facebook Messenger and one of your reps that are on your page can actually come in and take over the conversation. Uh, you can add a picture, you know, if you want to put the rep's face or, you know, just the generic person conversating. Uh, and you can you can put here you know uh, if if it takes you guys a while to respond you can put leave the chat open for 24 hours uh, before it reverts back to the normal bot. The thing that uh, happens is if you have uh, default answers to answer certain questions, um, which I'll we'll go over that later. If you type in your bot automatically answers. The only way to stop it from answering is to have chat take over. So now, uh, last thing is send email. So this is what I was talking about. So we can we can. Uh, I'll just do this as an example. Test. Obviously, we're not going to send nothing right now. But okay. So remember how I talked about characteristics up here, the attributes. So those are what's used. So we can say, hi, David. Someone is using your bot with the email. So see, these are the, the inputs that you can do. The bot automatically knows people's names. So obviously, because it pulls information from Facebook. So 
uh, we would say, where's email here? Oh, sorry. Email. Oops. Now, this bot will then send this information uh, to this email. Uh, and then you would have it, of course. So you would know that someone contacted you from that email. You can add a, additional information. Their name is, you know, uh, and, and any information you capture. So let's say you had, you had uh, tons of different user input questions. That can all be put in there. So... Um, now that's all I'd like to cover for today because I don't want to swamp everyone with, with a bunch of different knowledge. I'll be uh, releasing different videos uh, over the next course of the several weeks that can uh, go from you know being a beginner to understanding the actual functions of the bot.